Seems like a while since I said, new beer now available from Tesco. But today we're gonna to be reviewing this brand new beer that's just appeared in Tesco. This is Salt Denim, and this is an IPA using HDHC new experimental hop. But what's it gonna be like? Keep on watching to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to be review, reviewing, sorry, I'm going to be teeth in, uh, the Salt Brewery Denim. Now, I, I knew that this came out a little while ago, but it's only just appeared in Tesco, so it, people may have already had it directly from Salt. Uh, and this is an IPA, it's 7.2%, and it's got, got HDHC hop in it, which is like an experimental hop. So I'm not quite sure what sort of flavours. I've not done too much not looked it up too much just want to see what it what it says it doesn't on the can it doesn't really say much else it's a hop charged ipa utilizing a blend of free hop products to pack in a big so bold hop flavor so obviously this it's a blend this H, hdhc i'm not sure exactly what it's a blend of but it's a blend of hops um and i'm yes yeah, so i'm looking forward to that great art can obviously denim sort of like for the you know all their all the salt stuff are all like you got some sort of fabricy um sort of con names because of the salt factory and it, it used to be a sort of, of textiles and stuff like that so that's that um but just before i do that i just want to let you know the other new beers that are in tesco so the other one that i bought was this vocation this is a parallel called roll with it double dry hot parallel in this nice green can with this sort of uh, the guy from Pinocchio on it, I think. Yeah, I can't remember what his name is, but the guy from Pinocchio on it looks pretty cool. Um, they also had two others which I didn't buy. They got another, both from Vocation. One of them is a chocolate banana imperial stout coming in at something like 11 or 12%. So quite a big hit of that, but that's a five quid can. Um, and also the other one they had was a triple IPA. Now, from my knowledge, I think it's the first triple IPA I've ever seen in a supermarket. Um, well, maybe Brewdog. Do they do not do a triple, a triple um, Hazy Jane? I, I may, maybe I'm wrong, but you don't see many triples. But again, that's a fiver, ten percent ABV. I didn't buy those two at this point. I'm just going to get these two. I'm not sure where I'm going to get those. I still think it's reasonably too early in the season to start drinking stouts. I'm very much uh, stouts in the winter and IPAs and, and uh, pals in, in the sort of spring and summer. So I'll leave that and review that probably in the next sort of, over the next sort of few weeks to a month. Um, but I wanted to try these two today because they jumped out to me. So let's crack open this one. A Denim IPA, 7.2%. Inspected a big hop forward sort of beer. Not quite sure whether it's gonna be a New England style, but let's pour it out and see what it's all about. And this one, I think, oh, trying to remember the price, I'm sure this was £3.50. And I think the Palau was probably a bit less than that at £3. Because, yes, I think like, you can get this Palau in four for um, for eight quid. So, denim in a glass. We've got quite a sort of deep orangey colour. We've got two fingers, pretty compacted, just off white head, but looks pretty good. It's a very sort of nice, dark juicy orange sort of uh, colour. I'm expecting a lot of stone fruit aromas with this one and, and flavours. See the carbonation moving pretty quickly up the glass. Let's see what that aroma is all about. Well, I'm getting a lot of citrus, certainly orange. Orange is a big sort of aroma here. But there's a lightness about it. There's a sort of mix of oranges and lemons as well, giving it a lighter citrus than a a lot of beers that have orange in it can be the orange can be a bit overpowering, and maybe there's a subtleness of passion fruit. But again, usually when I get orange aromas, I'm getting passion fruit that goes goes along with that. So let's see what it it smells pretty good and nice and fresh. So let's see what it tastes like. Cheers, everyone. Great soft mouth feel. Like the aromas, there's a lot of orange flavours in there. But it doesn't go too strong in terms of orange. It doesn't go into a sort of, um, into that sort of orange rind, into that sort of bitterness that, again, you sometimes get the orange. And it doesn't go that sort of marmalade sort of orange or the sort of, the too piney, pininess in there like you get with a lot of sort of West Coast sort of IPAs. 
So, so far, so good. Yeah, really soft. Orange, passion fruit. Maybe a little bit of mango in there as well. And there's a little bit of lemon as well. Um, and it's, it's starting to get a slight pineiness. But I wouldn't say it was, it was quite, it's quite low in terms of its pineiness. It's a really easy drinking sort of beer. 7.2% drinks, nothing like that. It just, it's really smooth. So it goes down really well. And it's, and although it's got some nice sort of orangey citrus, maybe mango and passion fruit flavours in there, the flavours don't over dominate, I don't think. I'd expect with this one saying, oh, it's a big, what does it say? It said it's a, a hop charged. I wouldn't say it was as hop charged as a lot of beers. It's a little bit, you know, I'm trying to think of the ways to describe it. It's a little one note for me. So it's got some nice orangey sort of characteristics to it and passion fruit. Maybe I'm getting a little bit of grapefruit, but it's it's a very subtleness of grapefruit, as is the subtleness of le lemons. The lemon almost waters down that orangey flavours to make it too, it's not too orangey. Some beers can be too, too orangey. It sort of, it sort of, puts takes the edge off the orange and gives it a lighter citrus flavor but it's a pretty good beer and for the price you know three quid it's a again it's what makes this beer stand out from a lot of the lot of beers is it's very very soft so the mouthfeel is nice and it's got a slight creaminess to it but it's like some of those other beers the, the vocation one that we had, the new one from Morrison's, the one with the Space Invader theme, it's got a similarity about that, but that was a little bit, I think that was a lot lighter. This one's got a more sort of medium sort of body. It's got a little bit more creaminess to it, which to me gives it the edge. It's a cracking beer, and it's a great new addition to supermarkets. So, Denim IPA um, HDHC Hop Blend, which it's not a hop, but it's a blend of hops. It seems we're getting more sort of these blends of hops now. We're not quite sure what's in them, but where you maybe get your sort of Citra, Mosaic and Simcoe, now you get this new thing that's like a blend that could be those three. I don't know what it is, whether it's three new hops or or how it, how it works out, but you get more of these blends now. And you get some nice, interesting flavours. So let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in for Salt Denim. It's this HDHC IPA, a blend of hops, a hop charge as they like to describe it. Great looking can, you can't really miss that if you see that, but I mean like, they all have this sort of, uh, these sort of hexagonal sort of shapes, a very textile um, themed, but this is a really good beer. It's, it's a nice addition to the supermarket beers. Let's go through the scores. Firstly, aroma. Well, when I first sort of smells it it's very big orange and passion fruit they're the big aromas maybe a little bit of mango in there as well and there's a sort of lighter citrusy sort of aroma as well sort of you're getting some little pockets of lemon in there it is very nice and inviting it's not as zesty or as fresh because orange seems to sort of can, can veer towards the bitterness it doesn't really i don't really get that aroma that's really a real strong orange an orange rind but it smells pretty good and very citrusy. So I'm giving it a 13 for aroma. Appearance wise, well, I think it looks pretty good. We've got the, you know, the head's not there, but you've got some really nice lacing of the glass and it's it's got a lovely orange color to it. I think it's pretty, it's a very above average looking beer. So I'm giving it eight out of 10. Flavor wise, similar to the aromas, you're getting this passion fruit and orange. Orange being the, the big sort of takeout really but just when it when you think oh is it going to go too orangey get to the marmalady get to the bitterness then you sometimes expect you know you're almost expecting a little bit of pineiness coming being a bit more west coast in terms of its style but that doesn't really happen you get this orange and just when you think is it going to get is this orange a little bit too strong then you get this sort of lightness of citrus the sort of lemon that sort of to me, it just, I wouldn't say it sort of waters down the orange, but it just sort of counteracts it to stop it going too 
orange bitterness and rind of orange sort of thing. Uh, there's a little subtleness of grapefruit in there, but it's there's not much bitterness at all. There's not really any pininess. It's just a really easy, nice drinking beer. Um, and it is wrapped up in a very soft mouthfeel. It's probably, you know, it's up there with some of those sort of, it's, it's more surprising to me, the mouthfeel, when you get some beer which has got those all orangey flavours, but it is quite, it's almost got a slight, orangey creamy sort of um, um, mouthfeel to it so i think it's pretty good 33 i'm giving it for flavor value for money well it's a, a supermarket beer i said i think it's it certainly wasn't more than 350 or 350 but i think it was probably three quid so I think it's good value 7.2 percent it's quite a big high I, I, um, abv for a for a beer um, so I think it's got a good value and you know I think it's definitely worth picking up from a supermarket so I give it nine out of ten for value and then my overall experience well it's a very easy drinking beer it does remind me a little bit of the um, the vocation I'm trying to remember what it's called now in fact I'll let me look through it I'll probably better remember what it's called um, let me go through my scores. Oh, what wave after wave? I think that was called. Yeah, it was because of Space Invaders. It's it's similar to that, but it's I think it's it's slightly better because it's got a it's a, the mouth feels a little bit more creamier. Where I thought the wave after wave was a nice easy drinking beer, but it was it was quite light. Uh, this one's got a bit more creamy. It's a bit closer to the alpaca, which is still my favourite salt beer in the supermarkets. But it doesn't have that, it's not quite as, I don't know, it doesn't have, it's not as full on as, as alpaca. I think alpaca is a really good beer. So I'm giving it from my overall experience, 14. So we top those scores up, we get a respectable and a recommended 77. It's a white snake beer. It's a beer you slide in slow and easy. It's a really cracking beer. So if you're ever, uh, if you ever have a first of beer in the still of the night, then this is a beer that you should give a try to. But if you've already had it, let me know what you think. Denim. And, and what is HDHC? I'll probably go away now and look at what that is and, uh, and probably sort of go, oh yeah, I should have realised that. It's a nice IPA that should be given, you should definitely give it some time and, 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 and buy it because it's, it's quite cheap and it's from a supermarket, Tesco. So this is the first of the new Tesco beers. It's been a good one. Let's hope they, the next ones continue on along this form. And until the next one, keep on rocking.